Hey guys. So I'm out here sitting in my backyard. It's a beautiful November day in Northern New York. And I'm blessed with this wonderful backyard. I just have field upon field to explore and woods to explore in my own backyard. I'm really, truly blessed. It's probably about 65 degrees. It's amazing out. And I had to go for a walk and just plop down in the middle of a field. And it got me thinking about where I would have been a year ago from, from today. And I know exactly where I would have been. I would have been in my bedroom with the door closed, uh, blasting music and putting down my first quart of vodka. I actually, I probably would have been starting on my second quart. It's past noon, so. Um, and that made me think about, somebody made a comment about being in a dark place. And certainly being holed up in your bedroom on your second quart of vodka for the day is certainly a dark place. But I remember when I overdosed on benzodiazepines and alcohol, I checked myself out of, of, out of a detox early and they had loaded me up on Valium, Librium, Ativan. And I checked myself out. I had my dad pick me up. And I proceeded to walk downtown to the liquor store, buy a quart of vodka and drink it while I still had benzodiazepines in my system. Now, if you don't know, benzodiazepines mixed with alcohol can be lethal. And I passed out in my closet and I had a seizure luckily in the ambulance. But the thing is my dad had thought I'd hung myself in my closet and I was trying to not be here anymore. And I'm the next day I wake up, I'm in my, I'm in the hospital. I'm talking to the psychologist and I realize I'm still alive somehow and that I need to do something. And so I asked the psychologist, at the time, um, you know, what he could do for me. And I remember being angry that I was still around. And even though I started with treatment about a week after I got out of the hospital, I was still very angry. Um, and even while I was going to outpatient, I still kept this thinking. I really just did not want to wake up in the morning. I wasn't actively trying to do anything to myself other than drink, but I really just didn't want to wake up the next morning and waking up the next morning and realizing, shit, man, I'm still alive. What the fuck? And it pisses you off. And I think just living that day after day after day is horrible. And being that angry is horrible. It eats you alive from the inside out. And so I understand what it's like to be in a dark place because I was in a dark place every day for seven years. And it does get better. It really does get better. Keep fighting the fight, guys. If you or somebody else that you know needs some help with substance use, mental illness, or drug use, please call 211. All right, I'll talk to you later, guys.